I hate verbs in English. I dance, you dance, he dances. Why? <laughs> Is he dancing more than me? I don't think so. 645 people dance and he dances. How much is this motherfucker dancing? Let me tell you, I was uh, in the airport the other day, I was flying to Japan, I was waiting for my flight, so I heard in the airport, the sound system of the airport, the guy saying, attention please, Mr. Steve Smith. Okay, Steve Smith, the most American name ever. A name that I can see holding a gun, saying the end more than storming the capital. <laughs> How American this name. Nobody answered. Ten seconds later, the same voice said, Konnichiwa, Mr. Steve Sumita. <laughs> what are the odds of having a Mr. Steve Smith that can only speak Japanese? <laughs> Do you really think that he heard, attention please, Mr. Steve Smith, and he was like, I don't understand. <laughs> I hope they speak Japanese. Cause <laughs> How dumb is this guy from the airline? And he said, attention please, Mr. Stisby. And nobody answered. And he was like, <laughs> of course. <laughs> He's a samurai. <laughs> I got a green card because the American government says that I have extraordinary abilities which sounds amazing but it's not because the person who said that I have extraordinary abilities is Joe Biden <laughs> I don't think you need awesome abilities to amaze a guy that is 155 years old <laughs> what's my extraordinary ability I can walk the other day was 30 degrees in New York, 30 degrees, like very cold. Next day, 40 degrees, much colder. What the fuck is that? What the fuck? So then I scrolled down on my phone and I saw this little information. 40 degrees feels like 18. So if it feels like 18, it's fucking 18. Okay? What matters is what I feel, okay? Not the dumber. Right? I'm trying to go out. I'm not trying to plant corn. Okay? If you're a middle class and it feels like you are poor, you are fucking poor. Right? I'm sorry. American people, you guys trying to learn Spanish is the weirdest shit in the world. The first sentence that you learn in school is "Donde está la biblioteca." When was that sentence important? <laughs> when was the last time you were in Aruba and you're like, no, I don't want to go to the beach. <laughs> I don't want to go to a good restaurant. No, 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 no. <laughs> Take me to the library. <laughs> I want to party with some old ass books. <laughs> was that a war a long time ago? against Spain, uh, and the only place safe was the library. <laughs> and everybody's like, oh, they're gonna kill me! Donde esta la biblioteca? <laughs> when I arrived here three years ago, a cab driver told me, Mr. Brazilian, you can say wherever you want in this country, but don't use the N-word, or people are going to kick your ass. <laughs> but he never told me what the N-word was. <laughs> What a mystery. <laughs> so for the past three years, I have been avoiding all words that starts with the letter. <laughs> Which is making my life pretty f***ing hard. <laughs> the other day, a very beautiful and strong man came up to me and he said, Can I f***? And I was like... I was recently uh, diagnosed with ADD uh, by my wife. <laughs> yeah. 
was upgraded from lazy piece of shit to mentally challenged. <laughs> and I embraced it, I embraced it. Now every time she screams, you forgot to do the dishes, I'm like, I'm very sick. Very sick. Sexting. It's disgusting. We don't do sexting in Brazil, my country. You know why? Because we actually f <laughs> You should try it, it's amazing. But I just have a warning, just be careful with the people that you're sexting with. Because my ex-wife name is Julia, and my father name is Julio. <laughs> yeah. One day I was uh, horny in my peepee. -pee. I, was, I was really horny in my peepee. -pee. And I sent her a message tonight, gonna make you crazy and I got a message back you have been doing that for the past 42 years <laughs> it's impossible for me to speak English when I'm angry and upset you know I just, it's, it's impossible I just switch words it's a whole mess I was doing a show the other day and this guy screamed you suck what I wanted to say to him was go f yourself but I was nervous and I said gonna f myself <laughs> which apparently is not the same. I wanted to hurt his feelings, but I ended up informing him that I was going to masturbate. <laughs> I remember when my ex-wife was pregnant, she used to tell me to talk to her belly. Let me tell you something. There's no man that does not feel ridiculous <laughs> speaking to a f belly button. Because <laughs> this is what we do. No, you have to talk to this belly because this belly carry your baby. And I used to say to her, you know, my balls carry a lot of them. <laughs> I don't see you having conversation with my right testicle. Over. <laughs> I was recently introduced to the biggest challenge of my life, which was have sex and speak English at the same time. <laughs> and uh, it's f***ing impossible. I was kissing this girl, we were like touching each other, and she said, mm, you are dirty. And I said, that's impossible, I just took a shower. <laughs> I smell very good, actually. <laughs> she got excited and she was like, oh, I'm coming, I'm coming. And I said, coming where? <laughs> you are already here. <laughs> Am I f***ing a ghost? What's... <laughs> it's gonna materialize in the middle of the process. What's going on? <laughs> And she was like, no, you're making me come. And I was like, no, I'm not making you do anything. <laughs> you came because you wanted to come. <laughs> you know who made you come? Uber. Uber made you come. <laughs> not me. Uber. Not me. I come from Brazil, the land of George Santos. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> such an amazing human being. <laughs> George Santos is a Brazilian guy who became a congressman here in America and he lied about his education, he lied about being Jewish, he lied that his family survived the Holocaust, he even lied about being the cast of the Hannah Montana show. <laughs> and people always come up to me and ask me, is everybody in Brazil like this guy? And of course not, I could never do something like he did. Not me graduated in Yale, <laughs> who fought two wars. I didn't win five Super Bowls to be lying about shit like that. <laughs> I'm real. And if you don't believe me, just ask my ex-girlfriend Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> this whole gender-neutral pronoun is very confusing, you know? The other day I invited a friend to have dinner at my house and she was like, oh, I'm bringing a friend. And I said, bring him. And he was like, no, 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 bring them. So I bought a lot of food. <laughs> I bought briskets and pizzas and pastas. My friend showed up at my house with one person. And I said, where are they? And he said, they are here. <laughs> so you tell them that they are gonna eat all of this food right now. <laughs> I could never be a serial killer, you know, because I have ADD. It's too much planning, too much organizing. 
I can see myself killing a person and spending the next four hours in the crime scene looking for my wallet. <laughs> I'll be like trying to wake up the cadaver. Did I have my wallet? Did you see if I... <laughs> the other day I saw a person say, don't call me he or she, call me they. And I was like, what the fuck? It took me three years to learn I am, you are, he... <laughs> I worked very hard on this. So yeah, change your gender, but don't change your grammar, please. <laughs> Verbs in past tense. They're very easy. Look at this. Arrive, arrived. Play, played. Visit, visited. Sleep, what the f***? <laughs> Come, I have no idea. What about go? The past of the verb go is went. How would I know that? It's not even close. There's no one letter in go that is also in went. Went should be the past of the verb want, but the past of the verb want is wanted. What do you guys want? There's two rules in past tense in English. The first rule, you just put the ED at the end of the verb. And on the second rule, you just write the verb on a piece of paper. You put it in a soda can. You shove it up your ass. And you pray for the best. You guys need to do a better job diagnosing STDs in this country. Because you know? I was listening to this girl called Megan Stallion talking about her wet as <laughs> that you can mop the floor with. A clear case of chlamydia. <laughs> and you guys are like, oh, she's empowered. No, she's sick. <laughs> this woman's gonna die. And you guys are gonna be like, well, what happened? Well, she was crying for help for two years. <laughs> Talking about her sick vagina everywhere, and you guys were dancing. I don't know if you're following the news. Did you guys see what happened today in Brazil? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Some right-wing lunatics just like invaded our capital, destroyed everything. The police was like watching. Everything happened after this right-wing psychopath lost the election. I really hope this never happens to you guys. <laughs> so ridiculous. <laughs> you have no idea. I know it's not gonna happen. You're a civilized country. You guys respect your democracy. Now I'm just afraid that we are going to inspire other countries to do the same. I really hope this doesn't happen. I am a 6'7", and I am also Latino, a combination that is pretty common. When I hang out with my Latino friends, I look like I'm their leader. It's f***ing ridiculous. I'm 6'7", because my father is Latino, and my mom is Chewbacca. My she loves this joke, by the way. My mom, <laughs> my mom loves this joke. She always laughs. Like, <laughs> this whole gender neutral pronoun is very confusing. You know? The other day I invited a friend to have dinner at my house, and she was like, Oh, I'm bringing a friend. And I said, bring him. And he was like, no, 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 bring them. So I bought a lot of food. <laughs> I bought briskets and pizzas and pastas. My friend showed up at my house with one person. And I said, where are they? And he said, they are here. So you tell them that they are going to eat all of this food right now. Sexting. 
that's disgusting. <laughs> we don't do sexting in Brazil, my country. You know why? Because we actually f <laughs> You should try it, it's amazing. But I just have a warning, just be careful with the people that you're sexting with. Because my ex-wife name is Julia, and my father name is Julio. <laughs> yeah. One day I was uh, horny in my pee-pee. I was, I was really horny in my pee-pee. And I sent her a message tonight, gonna make you crazy. And I got a message back. You have been doing that for the past 42 years. <laughs> the other day I saw a person say, don't call me he or she, call me they. And I was like, what the fuck? It took me three years to learn I am, you are, he. <laughs> I worked very hard on this. So yeah, change your gender, but don't change your grammar, please. You guys in this country, you guys shoot guns for fun. That's fucking weird. I've never heard a gunshot in my country and I thought, wow, someone is having a great time. Pa, 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 bachelor party. Kanye West. Out of the Jews. Jews run the banks. Oh, no. Jews run entertainment. Oh, no. I'm a Jew from a third world country. I don't run shit. <laughs> I run an iPhone 5. Go f yourself. <laughs> you guys in this country, you guys shoot guns for fun. That's fucking weird. I've never heard a gunshot in my country and I thought, wow, someone is having a great time. <laughs> pa, 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 bachelor party. <laughs> this whole American pride is kind of funny. Sometimes it's just incomprehensible. I was watching a basketball game the other day. And this guy was like holding a huge sign, America, number one. He was screaming, America, fucking number one. It's number one. The game was Houston against Dallas. <laughs> Relax, bro. You won. I come from Brazil. Brazil, it's a, it's a very violent country. But let me tell you something, America. America, it's also a violent country. It's just that our violence comes from different places. Yeah, we are poor. You are crazy. <laughs> yeah. We are hungry. You are insane. <laughs> yeah. We need food. You need friends. It's different. <laughs> Пусть я к вам не больше, чем вода